All right, let's build your teacher website. Um, if you're not familiar, um, my website is joenerdy.com. And today we're going to be building your WFISD teacher website, or if you're with another district, welcome. Anyway, I'm gonna click on teacher websites. This may be moved underneath the more column at a later date, but for tonight, it is here at teacher websites. So we're gonna click on that. And here are your instructions. You can click on the little button out here and that will open up the document in a new tab. Or obviously you can just follow along with this video. I have the instructions right here on my iPad. So I'm gonna be following over here Let's get started. Um, the first thing we need to do is make sure you're signed into Chrome. So there's my uh, icon. Um, and the first thing I'm gonna do is click on my box O dots and then click on sites. And then new Google sites on the left. And there are a few sites that I have. You probably have nothing on this page. That's okay. Uh, the plus button down here in the bottom right-hand corner is create a new site. And while this is warming up, I always tell the kids to put their, similar to putting their name on their paper, you wanna name your file. So I'm gonna put my first and last name as my file name you can now find this website at a later date when you go home the next day the next week when you want to work on your website it is saved in google drive as joe camacho so in alphabetical order find the j's i will find joe camacho um, if i named this mr camacho um, obviously it'd be in the M's so you can name it whatever you like um, let me put mr. Camacho right here as my website header um, like I said you can name it whatever you want to notice that your file name jumps down here and is copied into your website so that's just a note so this gray um, background that we have right here. Let's first off change that. That's kind of not very cool. So I'm going to click on, first off, I'm going to hover over here on this side, the middle left page, and click on change image. Um, and then let's do select. If you had an image of your kids, you could click on upload and you could push that from your desktop to this banner, but for right now, I'm going to do a stock image. I'm going to click on select, and then there are a handful of images in the gallery. Um, I usually go with the coffee cup and the computer because I like coffee and I like computers, so I'm going to click on that, and once it is um, highlighted, I'm going to click on select. so now I have my background has been changed. All right. Uh, let's do, if I double click down here, I'm going to add some text and I'm going to tell a little bit about myself. So uh, like I said, double click and I have the wheel. Uh, let's just start with text. It's the very, the one in the center. And now I have a text block and I can tell a little bit about myself. I'm going to say, hi, welcome to my teacher webpage. Uh, I don't know why I'm capitalizing things, but anyway, so this text is really small compared to my header. 
So the first thing I want to do is click on normal text and change that to small, medium, or large. I'm going to go with small, and it made it kind of medium size. If you've written a large paragraph about where you went to school and where you were born, this would be a way to go. If you just have high, uh, maybe you want to do a heading. Uh, we'll go with that. And then I want everything um, centered in my web page. So this justification button, I'm going to choose the center right here. So there we go. I have my header, my name, and then there's my little text bar. Next up, pay attention to the little paint dauber that I have right here on the left-hand side. And what that does is I can choose a, a soft gray or a blue emphasis. I'm going to choose the blue. And later on, we're going to talk about changing that blue over here in themes. But for right now, we're just going to stick with the blue. And next up, we need to add a new page. So we're done with our home page. So let's click on pages. And we're going to add a schedule. So I have my home page, which we just built, and then the plus button to add a schedule. Then click done. Now, this header that we are about to build is very important. Right now we have a very boring white header and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna click on header type and then we have small, medium, and large. I know it says title, banner, and large, but it's small, medium, and large. Let's click on the middle one and do banner. And now again, we have our same gray box. Let's hit the back button. Notice it's again, small, medium, large, but right here is the um, back button. And now we can change the image. So let's do that and then click on select image. Now this time I chose my coffee cup from the gallery. Do you see the gallery right here? Those are stock images. Let's do a search. And I'm going to search for, um, let's do tech. Now we'll do lap, uh, Chromebooks. Um, sure, why not? Let's do this one right here. That's kind of black and white. That'll work. And I'm going to click on select. I know that's a really boring search. You guys do whatever you want to do. Math, science, history, whatever. Um, but keep in mind, I need to tell you all this right now. Whatever you choose for this schedule uh, header, when we add the next two or three or four pages, it's going to take this header and make that the default header type. I will show you that from in a minute. But whatever I choose here will be duplicated on my next few pages. So. Don't choose a calendar right now. I know y'all want to do that, but um, just choose something generic. So let's see what we have to do here. We're going to pause for a second. All right. As you can see, I changed my Chromebook background to the lake. And um, I'm just going to double click again and add my schedule. Let's say 8 a.m. is first period and then we'll do 10 a.m. second um, noon is lunch etc etc I think you guys understand uh, so that's schedule so let's add one more page and then we'll wrap up this section of the video I'm gonna click on the plus button and notice what happens um, I want to do an about me page use capitals like I said that header that we chose for the second page was now copied to the about me page and every page after that so this will be the end of part one I'll catch up with you all in part two